Hey, what's up gang? Jake here and I am on week six of quarantine right now, which uh, I never would have guessed we'd all be in this predicament. Anyway, we're opening up our second $40 Pokemon subscription box. Today it has a bunch of packs, some nice little promos. It's great for this exact situation when you're kind of stuck in quarantine for a long period of time. But for someone like me who still wants their uh, Pokemon pack opening itch fixed, this is the perfect product for that kind of situation. All right, let's see what we got inside here. Some paper foliage, as well as some cards. Some nice promo cards, don't know what they are. Uh, but we will check these out first. I normally save these till the end, but I'm too excited. So we'll definitely check these out pretty much right away. And as well inside of our box, we have our packs for the month. So let's see what we have inside here. We got ourselves pretty much ooh, ooh, some older packs too. Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse, Sun and Moon XY Breakthrough, XY Evolutions, Sun and Moon Guardian Rising, Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows, as well as XY Roaring Skies. So that's a quite a little variety. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different packs from different sets. So pretty neat. Let's check out the promos first. Mark, looks like for this month you get yourself a decent pack of cards as well as two nicer promos. They're pretty nice if they're in top loaders. So let's check out this one first and flip. Ooh, it's Meow V Max. I do not have this card yet. This card is not in a set. You can only get it from the Meow V Max box. And it's actually a pretty decent card. I think it's still worth a couple of bucks. Pretty darn nice. I really dig it. I think this card is actually kind of competitive. So let's take it out of the top loader so we can get ourselves a closer look. Really cool card. 300 HP on a Meowth. Never would have seen that coming. So yeah, really nice card. I'll take it into the collection. Let's put it back inside the top loader now. And let's move on to the second one. Uh, is it just gonna be like the mouth? Oh, check that out. Pretty good guess. The regular Meow B. Also another card that I was missing from my collection. Sword and Shield promo number 004. One of the very first Sword and Shield promo cards. Really nice. Let's take this one out of the top loader as well and check out that quality. Too bad Meowth doesn't get enough love. It's just pretty sweet Pokemon, I dig it. One of the original Pokemon from the Kanto region, as well as the mascot for the evil Team Rocket. Really nice combo, I dig it. They must have had some extra Meowth V Max box lying around or something like that. So those are the nicer promos for the month. Let's check out what's in this little package here. Got an Arbok on the front. Doesn't look to be too, oh look, two packages. So pretty sweet, first one up. We got ourselves an Arbok Holographic Reverse Rare from Unbroken Bonds, I think. Let's check out all these cards because it's a nice thick stack in here. We got ourselves a Holographic Reverse Arbok, Holographic Reverse Anaconda. Holographic Reverse Center Scorch. Oh, that's a pretty old one. Holographic Reverse Articuno from 2015. Check that out. It's starting to get pretty vintage in here. As well, we got ourselves a Holographic Reverse Minior from uh, one of the Sun and Moon sets. So, looks like it's just a bunch of extra Holographic Reverse, but this one looks a little bit nicer because it's got an Inteleon in there, and Inteleon's worth a couple of bucks. We got ourselves a Holographic Reverse Inteleon. Holographic Reverse The Villain. Cinder Ace, Ooh, really nice. Oh, it would be really nice if we get the last one in there. Copper Ja, as well as Galarian Rapidash. So mainly holographic reverse cards from the latest set. Interestingly enough, they are all rare. So these are all holographic reverse rare cards based on the star icon on the bottom. So pretty sweet, 
10 holographic reverse rares, as well as two promo cards. So now let's get on to the packs. Let's start off with the XY packs. It's XY Evolutions was one of my least favorite packs to open, and now it's one of my favorites just because I enjoy it so much more. We got ourselves Professor Silk's Hint, uh, double ener double color so energy, Metapod, Voltorb. Ooh, check that out. The old artworks are so sweet. Makes you really feel like you're opening up a base pack. Caterpie. Charmeleon as our holographic reverse and in the back Dugong as our rare. Now let's move on to XY Breakthrough. The XY Break era was really weird because all the sets had the word break in the name. So I didn't really enjoy that. They could have came up with some better names for the XY Break sets. Vanillish, Snorlax, Spupa, Dodo, Ghastly, Spritzy, Cagney, Snover, Magnemite, Holographic Reverse, and in the bag, Mamoswine as our Holographic Rare. On to XY Evolution, uh, no, wait a minute, XY Roaring Skies, Jesus Christ. We do one, two, three to the front, let's um, give it a flick for good luck, and see what we have, Ultra Ball. Trainer's Mail, Flachinder, Pikachu, always dig a Pikachu, Natu, Spiro, Voltorb, Inke, Shindinja as our holographic reverse, and in the back, ooh, Dust Tox as our weird full art rare. That's not actually worth that much, but it's really nice artwork. Now on to Sun and Moon. Burning Shadows. There's a $200 Charizard in this set. So it is very, very possible to still pull it. Would be an amazing pull. Most people don't realize how expensive po modern Pokemon cards are. There's still legitimately a lot of really expensive cards in modern Pokemon for you to pull. We got Noctowl, Electabuzz, Mount Lanakila, Panpour, Pansage, Esper, I was thinking of the last one, Sock, Noibat, Ooh, Pikachu holographic reverse. I really dig it. And in the back, we have Butterfree as our rare. The fat, fat Butterfree flying away. On to the next one, Crimson Invasion. I would really dig it if we get something nicer right now because we're on a real dry streak. I've been on a real luck streak and now we're on a real dry streak. So hopefully my luck turns around. Hasn't been the worst streak I've ever been on. We got Grump Pig, Zincino, Zuelis, Chimeco, Skiddo, Carablast, Swablu, Pumpkaboo, Skiddo, Holographic Reverse, and in the back, ooh, High Dragon, Holographic Rare. Pretty decent, but still looking for that GX or, well, it would only be GX cards. Actually, you know, we could still get like a Secret Rare or a Full Art card. There would be no EX cards in this era. But that's all right. We do one, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy. Give it a flick for good luck. And we got ourselves an Altar of the Moon, a Choice Man, Tentacruel, a Lolan Geodude, Mudbray, Lolan Sandshrew, Connie, Bellsprout, Multi Switch, Holographic Reverse, and in the back, Drampa as our Holographic Rare. Ah, oh, third Holographic Rare really nice but come on guys i'm looking for some ultra rares would the base at sun and moon do it certainly hope so would hate to open up eight packs and only get a bunch of holographic rares we want something way cooler than that we do one two three to the front toss the energy give it a flick for good luck got ourselves pelipper ultra ball corsola cutie fly bong sweet alolan diglet dratini Sandigas, Skarmory, Holographic Reverse, and hey, finally, an ultra rare card. And I think I know that background anywhere. It is uh, Decidueye GX. Boom, there it is, Decidueye GX. I got like four copies of this card, pulled it a couple of times already, but I really dig it. I think it's probably my favorite starter from the Sun and Moon era. And on to our final pack, we got ourselves Sun and Moon Cosmic Eclipse, some ridiculously expensive cards inside of this set as well. 
including the Sun, uh, the Tag Team Lunala and Sogalio GX. Like that's the, that's the ticket card. If you really want to pull something amazing, that's the one you want to go for. Let's do three to the front, toss that energy. Give it a flick for good luck and see what we got ourselves in here. We got Dragonium Z, Akrakanid, Draw Energy, Crabrawler, Carvana, Chinchow, Azuro, Rufflet, Ooh, Weavile, Full Art Secret Rare. Really nice. This card is starting to worth a little bit more. It was worth uh, like 50 cents at some point, but after time, people are realizing that these Full Art cards are actually pretty neat and they are artistically some of the most amazing cards. They're just not super rare, and it is just a regular Pokemon, not like a GX or EX or, you know, any special card. But yeah, really decent card, worth a couple, I don't know, it's like, I wouldn't say a couple of bucks, it's worth like a dollar. The full art Pikachu one with uh, Ash or Red, that one's really nice. I think that one's worth a little bit more. And in the bag we got Metcargo as our rare. All right, guys, that's the end of our $40 Pokemon subscription mystery box. You get one of those every month. For $40, I got myself uh, eight packs, variety, all from different sets, as well as some nice promo cards, and a bunch of holographic reverse rares from all different sets. I would say it's pretty de decent. It's worth right exactly around 40 bucks. I can't really complain. We did some nice pulls and it really scratched my Pokemon pack opening itch. So I enjoyed it. It's my second subscription mystery box from this company. I'm definitely gonna do at least one more before I really decide if I wanna continue with the service or cancel it. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you want your own subscription mystery box, it's actually really, really easy to get one. All you gotta really do is Google Pokemon subscription box and there are a ton of different companies that are offering a variety of different services. It's very similar to this. So if you guys enjoy it, I hope you guys check it out. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. I'm just gonna sleeve up these cards and I'll be on my way.